Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome to my first project pan of 2017. Huh. So, I was invited to do a project pan with a wonderful group of ladies. Um, we're still kind of working out the details, so please excuse me if I screw them up a little bit. Um, I am getting ready to go out of town and I needed to get the video filmed before I left. So, I believe the name of the uh, pan is going to be Sweet on Panning. The idea is that we're going to pick out five or six products that are all remind us of sweets. Whether it be the scent, the name, the color, whatever it is about the product that reminds you of sweets. Um, it's in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, I believe, and the pan is going to run from the beginning of January to the last day of February. And anyone is welcome to join in. Please do join in. Let me know if you decide to join in. Also, I should say the project was started by In The Beauty Mix. I will link her channel down below along with everyone else that I'm aware of that is doing the project as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and introduce my products. Okay, I will start with this guy here because it's the biggest. This is the Escada Cherry in the Air. I really, really enjoy this perfume. Um, it is one of the oldest perfumes in my collection though. I believe it was a limited edition, but they do bring it back out occasionally. So I've had this one since I believe 2013 and I need to just finish it off, but it's also a very sweet smell but it's a sweet and tart smell it really reminds me of a candy um, yeah I'm really excited to use this I love this perfume so anyways I've made a mark on it I am let's see we got a little bit of a glare but I'm about right there I don't know if I can finish this in two months but I think I can make a pretty good dent in it I'm already past the widest point of the bottle so I think I can make a pretty good dent in this one. If I could get halfway through it, I would be happy. So there's that one. All right, Fresh Sparkling Snow by Bath and Body Works. In my opinion, I think this one smells like candy. And it's so funny, um, I was in Bath and Body Works and the cashier, I had a coupon for a free item and I didn't know you could, I didn't know you could use all the coupons together. I thought you had to pick one. So she was like, well, go pick out your free item. And so I grabbed this because it was close to the register. And it smells so good. I love this scent. I actually wanted to buy the body spray, but I was being cheap and tried to wait until they went on sale. And it was all sold out. So I'm going to have to wait till next year. Hopefully they bring this back out. But I do, I, anyways, I picked this up actually last Christmas. So I've had it in my collection for over a year. And I need to go ahead and work it out. Um, that's, I like to alternate my lotions, so that's a lot for me to try to use in two months, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm sure that if I just decide to use this one every day, I will be able to use it in two months, no problem. So there's that one. All right, this next one I just got. I've never used it before, but it's the Comforter from Lush. It's a shower cream. It is so good. It smells so good. It's so sweet. I really, really like this. Not to mention that nice pinky color is very sweet. Um, I haven't tried the... I don't know if the actual product is good. I don't know if I even like it, but it smells delicious. So I'm excited to use that. Shouldn't have any problem with that. Um, the next product is a little mini of Buxom Mistress. I don't even know if they make this, oops, I don't even know if they make this lipstick anymore. Um, I've had this in my collection a while. It's actually in my 17 lip products that I want to use up in 2017. But, let's see. Anyways, it's just a nice pink. It kind of reminds me of a pinky bubblegum color. As you can see, there's not much product left in there, and this is really, really, really soft product, so it goes quickly. Anyway, so I don't think foresee any problem using that up in two months. 
Okay, the next thing I have is a blush from Bare Minerals. Guys, I'm getting tired <laughs> of trying to pan these <laughs> powder blushes. I feel like I have one in every product, in every project. Oops, it's upside down. But I want to get these out, and I like them so much. I'm not, I just don't want to throw them away, but they are my oldest blushes. So I'm trying to work on them. Um, the name of this one is Pink Diamond. It's been discontinued. <clears throat> in my opinion, if I've said it before about these blushes, it's probably most likely just been repackaged. Um, it's very similar to another newer Bare Minerals blush I have in my collection. So anyways, I don't know if you can see there, but it's just a nice, to me, a nice candy pink color, and I really like it. Hopefully, I almost think that that's doable to do in two months. We shall see. I don't mind to wear the same blush every single day, so we shall see. Next, I have another Bare Minerals product. This is Vanilla Sugar. This is technically an eyeshadow, but I have made a ton of progress on this already. I was using it as a, as a corrector last year. My foundation was ashy, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, and I was able to use this as a corrector. Um, I have switched foundations since then, so I'm not having that problem anymore. But, it's just a nice peachy, very light, I think I can use this as a highlighter, maybe you can use it as a little bit as a corrector. I can definitely find a use for this and get this out of my collection. It's so close to being done, I just kind of want to get it out instead of leaving it put to the side with that little bit of product in it. And obviously the name is Vanilla Sugar and that reminds me of candy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six products right there. Um, I think the goal was to pick five or six. And then I wanted to do a bonus product. I really wanted to do a nice pink eyeshadow. Um, I love a good pink. Let's see if we can not blind you. Let's see if we put it like that. But I love a good pink eyeshadow. And um, I was getting ready to get rid of this palette, actually, because the pigmentation in some of the shadows just isn't there, and the quality just isn't there. But the pink shadow in this palette is actually pretty good. This is in my, um, I used it in my Pan That Palette 2016. I wanted to pan the purple shade in there. So, anyways, um... Of course, now that I'm trying to swatch it on my hand, it's being difficult, I swear. It's maybe the light, actually. I don't know. But anyways, the pigmentation in it is okay. Um, it works a little bit better with my Wayne Goss brushes, I think. They're a little bit higher quality brushes. But there's the color. It's just kind of a candy pink. And I love a good pink shadow. And I actually don't have any more. Um, that's the only, like, decently pigmented pink shadow that I have. So, I figured I'd go ahead and see if maybe I couldn't hit pan at least on this project. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility, but these shadows are very, very soft. So if I do use it quite frequently for two months, I might actually be able to hit pan on it. Anyways, so that is my project and actually I have no idea how often we were planning on updating. I think I usually update at least um, for a two month project. I'll at least update in a month. Um, I don't know if the girls are wanting to do it sooner or later or what, but I'll try to follow along with them. And anyways, that's my project. Those are my products. And I will see you guys at the next update. Bye.